Okay, show me this math problem. Please write five plus five. And when you have it, show me. I see just answers, that's fine. I see the math problem, put the answer also, add the answer, equals, and put the sum. And that's very good, five plus five equals 10. That one's a good one we know to start off with. That one is called a double. Now let's do a double plus one. So let's erase. Keep in mind, five plus five, keep that in your mind. Five plus five equals 10. Here's your new one. Five plus six. Five plus six equals. Ethan, how did you get on there? Now I know five plus five equals 10, and five plus six is just one more. So five plus six equals what, everybody? 11. 11, ah, I get the tallies there too, all right. So that's what we call a double plus one. We think about five plus five, and then add one more to the answer. So let's do another doubles plus one. Here's one we learned this year, ready? Okay, erase. Six plus six. Write your answer, Maddox. We forgot to do the marker thing again. Uh, I can't remember, you're right. We'll definitely remember when we close it up. Thank you. Uh, so five, I'm assuming these six plus six equals what, Aurora? How? Well, she knows her facts. Six plus six equals 12. Okay, so six plus six equals 12. One more would be, hmm, well, one more will be six plus seven. So let's write the new fact, six plus seven. Harrison, what did you get? Plus 13. Correct. Good job. 13. All right. Keep your marker handy, but I want you to erase. Go ahead and erase, but keep your marker handy because we're going to use the boards as we work with the scale. Okay. Now, this scale has some special weights, and they're different colors. They look like little blocks. Some of them are very small. Like this little blue one. <laughs> this equals That's one. And some of them are bigger, like this one. And this is like a 10. This equals 10. Okay? And I'll show you how it equals 10 by using the scales. So I'm going to take um, and put one of these blocks. That's a 10. This equals 10. Here it goes, Bryn. Right in. She disappeared. 10. Now, how many of these little ones do you think I have to put in the other side to be the same? Livia? Ten. She says 10. Let's try it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, ten. Ah! Well, my scale's not very steady, but it should be equal there, okay? So this side has one in it, but it equals 10. This is the same as having 10 of those. And when we look at today's math book, you're gonna see that we're gonna be counting how many things weigh. Okay, I have a question for you. What if I took out this 10, okay? This side still has 10. This is a 
five. How many of these yellow, yellow ones do I need to be the same as 10? This is a five. Right on your paddle board, how many of these do you think I need to be 10? I have a five. How many fives do I need to get up to 10? Show me how many of those fives I need to put in there. Good guess. All right, I see a lot of twos. Let's see it. Here comes one. Here comes two. You're right. Five plus five equals 10. Just like having all of those tens over there, those 10 ones. All right, very good. I think we'll move along to our math book. So let's do our marker trick. Are you ready? Ooh. Ah, voila. And I'm going to move the computer. Hopefully we're here next week and you can explore with these scales and you can find things out. That's when it's most fun, when boys and girls get to use them. All right, math books. All right, so far, math has been pretty easy peasy. It's pretty much just which one weighs more, which one may weighs less, which is lighter and which is heavier. Now today, we're gonna count how many um, of those cubes it takes to, to equal something. Looking at page number seven, Thumbs up if you already did all of page seven. Good job. Your job is to check, okay? We will work on page seven together, okay? Now, question number one has a book on a scale, and they're using bottles. We use, I use these little weight, these little cubes, but they're using bottles. Here's the book. Here are the bottles. Is the book heavier, lighter, or the same as these bottles? What do you think? Garrett? I think it's the book. You think it's the book? When you look right here, look bud, it's straight across. So that means yeah. it's the same as. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Now, how many bottles does it take to be the same as the book? Uh, it can the book has how, many bottles? how many bottles does it take? Three. Three. Yes. The weight of this book is about three bottles. So we're going to put a three on the line because that book weighs the same as three bottles. Okay. We only have two more to do together on this page, okay? Rin, how about, this is called a binder. I have binders in here. I'll show you what a binder is. My mom has one. A binder is like a fancy big thing that you can add pages to. All kinds of binders. That's called a binder. When you get to do, you know, get to get to middle school, you use binders. So this binder is right here. How many bottles? Two. The weight of the binder, Maddox, is about how many bottles? Um, binder. How many bottles? Two. two. Make sure your two is going the right way. So far, so you starting to get it? Easy peasy. Harrison, tell me about number three, the weight of this bag. There are two things. Um, I have bottles and I use a binder. Do you use a binder? That's great. Great. And the weight of the bag is yeah. about five. For, for training. Yeah, um, I use a binder to put training cards in. Good idea. That's great. All right, we're not ready for that yet, Mr. Raymond. Okay, now, you're gonna do page eight the same way, 
on your own, you're counting how many of those little cubes each item weighs. They're the same as. The same as this third page, number nine, you're gonna count and decide which one weighs more and which one weighs less. This one has a little bit of thinking. The last question on page nine, when you work on that, you're gonna have to do a little more thinking for that one. So that is our math for today. I'm not really gonna spend a lot more time on, on that with you because you can work on that on your own. So go ahead and take your math book and put it to the side. All right, super kids. Let's start off with the signs. Yesterday, we were asked to make a safety sign. Can you get your safety sign to share? All right. Okay, tell me about your safety sign. Let's start with Aurora. Do you have your safety sign close by? Okay, tell us what your safety sign is about. You're, you're muted, honey. No dogs allowed. No dogs allowed. And why is that important? Why is that um, a good safety sign? Because there's, because there's cats. Yeah. Are you coming to... Because I, there I, are I, cats. And, I, and dogs and cats should not I, be, maybe shouldn't be I, together I, I, sometimes, I, should they? Yeah. No. You're right. Very good. Thank you for sharing that, Aurora. Ethan? Tell us about your safety sign. It's do not go any way. <laughs> do not go any way? Why is that an important safety sign? Because there might be something dangerous what could be dangerous uh, like ice right and with COVID-19 we all have to follow that sign don't go any place <laughs> Harrison oh he's got a big one I think oh no he's got his book ready ah Wash out shark in water. Wash out shark in the water. I definitely don't want to swim there. I've seen those signs before. Have you? Yes. Good. All right. Bryn. Shark water. Uh, water. Caution. Water on the floor. Caution. Water on the floor. Did you ever go somewhere and the person just mopped the floor? Um, yeah. When restaurants were open and things, yeah. We don't want to fall down. Very good one. Good one. Okay, let's go to Maddox. <laughs> What's your safety sign? Stop. Stop. Why is that important? Because, like, um, if a car is going the other way and you're going that way, there's a stop sign, like, the stop, like, stop going fast. Correct. Very good. Thank you. Garrett? I, have, I made my crossing gate. Crossing gate. Okay, why is that an important sign? Because there's a train coming and a car is coming too. Because because if the because if it's no crossing gate at the at the crossing and there's a train coming and a car, they 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 get hit and 
So that's why. Very good. We don't want to get hurt by that train that's coming by. Yeah. Livia? I have my, um, mine is, um, walk on the bridge. Okay, I see a yes and a no and a bridge. Tell us about that one. Everybody's like this one. They're all just like. The signs, uh, they say, this one says walking, and uh, um, this one says unstable. Unstable? Then, yeah, and then this girl is following the rules, but um, this is another picture. This girl doesn't like the signs, so she throws them over. <gasps> So it's showing what you should do and what you should not do. Very good. All right, Michael. I think you're our final. Oh, Ethan did his, right? Yes, Michael's our last one. Maddox, can you put that down, please? It's Michael's share. Thank you. Tell us about it. Watch out for sharks. Oh, someone else had a shark one. Yes, and why is, that, why is that important? Because if you're swimming in the water, a shark could have hurt you. Very good. Boys and girls, you came up with terrific safety signs, and they were so different from one another, and they're all very important, aren't they? So we have to always follow important safety signs. That's super. All right, now we're gonna to turn to our super kids. Yesterday, we listened to the story, The Very Best Gift, uh, and I asked you to read over that on your own uh, sometime. Today, I'd like you to pull out your super kid word workbook. Let's take a look at that page. All right, so we're going to go back to those words, and I believe we're going to add some endings to our words today. Page number 96. Thumbs up. If you already did page 96 and 97, okay. That's fine that you did, but I'm gonna teach you something that maybe you didn't understand why, why we're doing a certain thing. So what I want you to do, and those people who already did it, I want you to get your paddle board. People who did not do it, stay with me in the book, okay? All right. We talked uh, before Christmas about words that were plural. Plural, we said, means more than one. So today we're going to look at words that mean more than one. Now, the first word you have on your paper, on page 97, is the word, well, it has the word hats, doesn't it? Now, the word hat. That base word just means one. But when we add an S to it, it means more than one. It's plural, okay? So if you need to, trace the word hats. If you already did it, do it on your paddle. Now let's take a look at the next word. This word is a long A word, K. E A K E. Uh oh, I'm going to put my long vowel line right over top of that. That's one of our spelling words this week, too. Cake. Now, cake means one. How many cakes do they show there, Aurora? Three. They show three. So we would have to add an S. That means oh. more than one. Okay, four, bless you. So far, you're probably thinking, yes, Mrs. Monoski, I know to add an S, mm -hmm. but the next page is gonna be a little bit different, a little bit different. All right, let's do the, the 
third one. Does anyone know that word? The picture gives you a good clue though. Ethan? Kite. 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 Long I. Put my long I line over it. To make it plural, more than one, we add an S. Okay, I'm going to do one more with you. The word is game. Put your long vowel line over the A. Maddox, did you get these done, buddy, already? Do you have your paddle board? You're, if you're already done with the whole page, you're supposed to use your paddle board and marker and practice them again. Okay. Plural is add an S. Okay. Now, I'm going to give everyone who is still working in their book on page number 96, I'm going to give you two minutes to finish this page on your own. Two minutes. Those boys and girls who already did it, I want you to pick two of these words to, to write again on your paddle. So Maddox and Michael, pick two words that you, um, and I think Ethan also. Okay, everyone who did it ahead, pick two more to practice printing on your paddle. Everyone else, finish them right now. Okay, last minute. Okay, so plural means more than one. We're now going to move on to the next page. Sometimes we just adding an S is not, not enough. If a word ends with this sound, sh, sh, if a word ends with sh, Okay, if it ends with S-H, we cannot just put an S on the end of the word. Now watch this, everyone. I'm going to write a word that ends with S-H. Fish. Fish ends with S-H, doesn't it? Fish. Fish just means one, right? But what if I see a lot more? Would I say fish, 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 or Fishes. That's really not a good example though because fishes is more of a, a, a verb on that one. Um, let me think of another one. Ah, how about this one? Wish. Let's try that one, wish. On your birthday you get to make a wish, right? But at Christmas time you have lots and lots of wishes, right? Would you say you have lots and lots of wishes? Wish? Wish? What would you say? Lots and lots of wishes. Wishes. Wish wish okay. Wish so look, when a word ends with S-H, you have to add E-S. So what we're going to do on this page, we're going to add E-S to the end of a word. Now, see this empty box? Sometimes words end with a C-H. Like lunch, like the word lunch. 
Did you pack your lunch? Did you pack your mm. lunch? Lunch? Can you say the word lunch like that? Lunch. Try it. Lunch. Does that lunch. sound right? Lunch. lunch. Does that sound right? Lunch. No, we should call it lunches. So that means we add ES to that word. All right, because lunch is just hard to say. All right, here's the next one. See this box? It's empty. Yeah, watch. Ah. If a word ends with two S's. Oh, Aurora has on her glass. Is that how we would say that? She's wearing her glass? Or would we, she, would we say she's wearing her glasses? Is. Glasses. That one has to get an ES. Okay, the last box. Ready? This is my favorite one. If a word ends with an X, we have to add ES. Max. Yes, so when you take a look at this page, it ends, page number 96, 97, it has all those special endings. So what we have to do on this page is we don't just add an S to the end of the word, we have to add ES to the end. So those people who went ahead, make sure that you added ES. Let's look at the first picture. Bryn, what's picture number one on page 97? Um, boxes. Yeah, look, they already did it with the X, right? So this is the plain old word box, right? This is box. But we had to have E-S on the end. Boxes. Yes. That was easy because it's a tracer. But I want to have... Uh, Ethan, tell me what's number two. Glass. Glass. But I don't just see one. Ethan, how many are there? Two. Look again. Mm. Look in your book, page num question number two. How many, how many are there? Four. Four what? Glasses. Glasses. So we have to add E S because it's one of our special, special words, special endings. All right, third one. Who wants to do number three? Michael, what's number three a picture of? Height. Number three on 97. Oh. Benches. Benches. Maddox, what are we going to add to the end? You're muted. this time? Because it has the like S-A. C-H, right? It has the C-H. Good job. Last one. Last one, Olivia. Olivia. Um, brushes. Brushes. And, and, and you would never say brush. Brush, would you? No. So when you say these words, you even hear that, that E-S e sound in there. Brushes. Eh, eh, eh. You hear that E in those words. So sometimes we don't just add an S. Sometimes we add E-S. And we only do it when we get these special endings here that you see in these presents. Okay? All right. 
Well, that was a shorter Super Kids today because your reading assignment for you to read today is to pick one of the level books from your bag of little books and read one of those today. I think you have a in there. So read one of those today. So today in Super Kids, we did our signs. We shared our signs. We talked about adding S and ES to the end of words. And now you're going to read your little book, Harrison. How many little books do we have? Do you have two, at least two in there? Okay. Can I have two in that baggie, boys and girls? Michael? Um, I made my safety sign yesterday and I cut it. I cut um one up. I made my safety sign out of paper too, and I put it on my um bathroom door. Wash your hands and flush the toilet. So that's great. I'm so glad that you're using the things we're learning. If you have not done your marker, um, ooh ah voila, make sure we have that closed and everything into the baggie. All your tools put back and read your little book later and finish the math page if you haven't finished the math. That's it. Uh, we did not need our journal today. Uh, and then later on, we're going to do spelling and you're going to need to bring your spelling page at the 11 o'clock meeting. Okay? I'm going to stop recording.